Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Women Empowered Across the World podcast. And unfortunately, our guest is not with us. Um, she is from Bangladesh and something has probably happened for her. But we said that we will do an episode on Mondays and Fridays. And this is Monday, guys. So we want to bring something to you guys. And what we're going to do is we're just going to share the actions that we're involved in right now in our lives. What what we're up to, what we're doing. Um, so you guys can all get to know us even better. Um, so, and Jackie has to leave us pretty soon. So we're going to ask Jackie to come and share what she is uh, doing right now in her life. What's happening, Jackie? Well, things are beginning to come together um, even more dramatically than I had ever anticipated. Um, you know, I have the Global Impact Network with the four pillars of literacy and wellness and environment and employment, and it's kind of taking on its own life as I get deeper into each one of them. Um, an individual by the name of Abiola um, is working. Um, interestingly enough, he has brought up his business as well as his avocation or passion with global um, policy matters in Africa. So both of us have had businesses on the side, so to speak, so that we can survive. And we're finally looking at each other and saying, no, no, they have to move together. They have to move together. This is going to work. So now that I realize what his business is, and he said, well, I redid my LinkedIn. And I went, okay, let's look. So I helped him with that. And lo and behold, what he's doing will work with Spirit of the Game and my impactful artisan network because he was open about both parts of his life. And so my point of all of that is for us to really look at the total picture when we talk to people and not assume that we are one-sided or one dimension. Mm, I love that. And so it's we're going to really that. brainstorm in about three minutes and find out the best way to bring all of that together. Great. So Jackie, tell us just a little more about your artisan network. I want to hear more. Well, the most important part of that is that there are women in cultures all over the world who are creating the baskets and the bracelets and the, all these things that could be sold online. There are a lot of local things like honey and cassava and that kind of stuff that you're not going to ship to another whatever. So <clears throat> I'm finding more and more of those. And um, Christian Maloba, who was the Central Africa representative for Spirit of the Game, has a website, Lakuni, L-U-K-U-N-I, it's beautiful. And he's already taking malachite and crystals and gems and beautiful things from the Congo. And he's got it down to a system. He sends them to United States and then they send them to the clients who are mostly in the United States. Wow. So he's got it to a system. And now it's a matter of locating the women who want to learn how to do that, to be able to have their own tab or however that will look. And he's willing to teach them. So I want to take all of that through the impactful women's network of spirit of the game so that we can bring the women that are in these cultures to a level of organization and understanding the logic is they oh. would go through YEA to do that as well. Mm -hmm. I haven't totally figured all of that out. Uh, Renata and I are going that this painful concept as we speak. Uh, however, that is the, the whole idea. And the original thought of that was for me to be able to have them get a little extra money so they could go give that money to get a projector 
to be able to take the literacy app into the school. So how -hmm. long it takes me to make that happen, I don't know yet. The point being that these women are more empowered in these communities in literally most of the countries, if not all the countries of Africa, and start there. So it's being open about what you're doing. That is beautiful, Jackie. Thank you for sharing that because I have some people I want to connect you with now. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. I definitely have some more people I want to connect you with that are doing some amazing, amazing work, basket weaving, uh, beautiful stuff that they are trying to figure out how to get it here to the U.S. Uh, Okay. So, okay. Yeah. We'll have to figure that. Yeah, I will be connecting you. I will be connecting yeah, you. Please, with Renata and I will be pioneering that. So, to so speak. wonderful. <laughs> thank I'm you, so ladies. excited. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jackie. And I know you've okay. got to leave us, but thank you. Thank okay. you so Have much. Thank you, Jackie. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. For Global Impact yeah. Network yes. at nine. Pacific. Absolutely. I'll be there. I'll be there. All right. Bye-bye. Who else wants to share? Oh, Susie, you're up. Oh, me. I thought it was Renata. You're <laughs> so up. Can go I first. see you. You're up. <laughs> actually, I was actually Renata to go first. I oh, okay. Renata to go first. Okay, Renata, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So, wow. I think the, the the things that I'm being dedicated a lot this month was about the Planetary Health Coalition. So we we bring some people specialists to talk about indigenous um, experience in, in Amazon, in Brazil. And it was very interesting. And also we have someone to beautiful talk about um, mental health and well-being and climate change. How is it affecting our lives and it's it everywhere too. And how can we... It, how can we develop like a kind of um, emotional resilience to deal with the things that you know it's coming? It's like a, so. I think one of the the things that we discussed is be aware of what is going on and give us the chance to prepare ourselves. You know, you 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 just pass through the hurricane, so. It's it's better if you have information that you can prepare yourself and you know, and so this is really important. So that's one of the goals of the Planetary Health Coalition. Yeah. And last week we have two beautiful specialists to talk about oceans, and one she's she talked about her research about oceans and the health of the kids in this planet. So the ocean is responsible to nourish more than 3 billion people around the world. So it's really, really important to feed ourselves, you know. So in, in, if the ocean is sick, we have a big problem with that. Oh, yeah. and, oh. and this week, we're going to have uh, two specialists to talk about humanitarian logistics, and how we can pre- be prepared for uh, big disasters like hurricanes, flood, draw, and even war, no, that is really and- going on. So so this is the idea, and we still have going to have more people coming, and this is a, an opportunity for anyone that wants ask questions, you know, to specialists. So we are like, my, my idea with that was to democratize information and not just be around, you know, the walls of the universities, but for anyone that want to come with us, it's welcome. So wonderful. This, this so Renata, when, when is your event? Will you say that? It's so- every Wednesday. On uh, 16 GMT. Okay, which yeah. is, is nine, 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 nine Pacific time. Okay, nine so it's 12 for, okay, for Eastern 
uh, daylight. Yeah. Okay, got it. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. And guys, every one of us, make sure you send me the links for everything so I can put it in the descriptions under your name. Oh, okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you, Renata. And thank you for loving our planet the way you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know yes. we're in, I know we're in good hands with you. Thank you. <laughs> we <laughs> are, we are. Susie. Yes. Yes. <laughs> About what we are doing, we are doing a lot of things right now, but we are more centered. Um, last week was last month uh, in general, and this month is all about the question we are asking ourselves that does making money really matters? And what are we really there on earth to do? How can we impact uh, earth in a more positive way that can really impact the lives of others than to impact our life or thinking about having a house or a family or just feeding our family by itself? So that is where we brought up the Harvest Hero podcast, more about sharing and doing this um, uh, episode. I learned a lot personally, and I think a lot of people did learn that the only way to really start uh, walking into the path you want to is by volunteering and the power of volunteering. So we went in depth into that, um, the ability of really getting specialized in the domain without the need of money and all this true volunteering and how it can impact your life, uh, personally and the life of others. So the podcast is going on live on YouTube and linking every, every Wednesday and Friday, from uh, 11, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern, Eastern time. I don't know about the other <laughs> the other times, but yes. And it is all about leaders around the world. We are not only interviewing people from the U.S. We have people from Ireland, from all around Africa, around Europe, that are actually sharing about their leadership uh, leadership. Uh, skills and also how can I impact my environment or impact my surrounding, my community without money? And how can I keep growing even though I don't have the means to? And what are the little secrets I uh, I wish they wish they had when they started their journey as a leader? That will help a lot of people around the world. And we are also on TikTok. Yes. So yeah. that is about what we are doing this week. Yeah. Thank you, Carol. Oh, so exciting. So, so exciting. And I am so excited about our collaboration, Susie. You Thanks, have Debbie. no clue. I just see so much in our future together. So, mm -hmm. uh, so everyone, just we want you to know, Susie and I have collaborated and we are working together to support our youth to number one, believe they deserve to thrive. Listen, 12 years old, they need to actually get, they deserve to thrive right now, right now. It's not when they get older and their value is right now, right now, not when they get older. Um, and that's what we're up to is supporting our youth to be the future leaders of tomorrow. Our champ, We're gonna champion their spirits. So thank you, Susie. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. I forgot to mention the name of the yes. podcast, Harvest Heroes Podcast. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And I subscribed and yeah. I cannot wait to watch. I just got my power back and my, my internet back. So I will be watching your episodes. I'm so excited. Yeah. So, so excited. Thank you, Susie. Thank you. All right, guys. And for me, um, I just want to share with you really quickly about myself um, we are, um, uh, YEA, we had to adjust our dates. Um, it was supposed to be the 17th tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, tomorrow, Thursday. And we are adjusting it to the 24th of October. Um, I was in one of the biggest hurricanes that's ever hit Tampa Bay and right in the eye. And, um, and I'm safe. The house is safe. And I pray for oh, all of my neighbors, all of my friends that really took a big loss. I pray for them. Um, this was really devastating to Florida, really devastating. And um, I'm back. I have a renewed energy. Um, I'm going to be delivering this course to guys. We have 251 registered for October's program. Oh, it's incredible. And they just keep coming in. Susie, they yes. just keep coming in. <laughs> yeah, it's just a beginning. We have more. 
they just keep coming in and uh oh my goodness and guys you can please i'm not drawing a line of how many we can have or not have we'll manage it but please keep inviting people because we have until the 23rd that's the cutoff date to invite anyone else to the program okay i'll find more coaches i'll do whatever it takes but i want that breakdown okay bring it <laughs> <laughs> and um, and then our YEA Youth Empowerment Program was supposed to start this last Sunday. And um, and of course it didn't. And we're going to start this Sunday. Um, so and we are praying that we're going to have so many youth participating. And I know with Susie, we will have many youth participating. I know Abiola is bringing youth from uh, Nigeria. Um, just. I'm so excited about that program because the youth um, are going to then, once they have uh, completed the YEA program, which is 10 weeks, I send them to Susie. That's our collaboration. And she has a youth program that's going to just expand their minds. They're going to come into her program with a mindset that they can do anything that they are up to anything and she is going to expand their minds and and blow them away and then i have a collaboration with um uh, with megan and megan is doing the um she's doing the uh, academy space and so she is going to have an actual program that so mentors and supports all of our youth in what it is that they are taking on in their lives how exciting is that I've, you know, I've always felt like I give them 10 weeks and then it's done. Now go. <laughs> and I've always felt like there's a missing. There's no missing any longer. There's only fulfillment for me with them going into Susie's program and then from Susie's program going into Megan Dean's program um, and being nurtured all along the way. That's what I wanted. And that's what I got. Thank you. So everyone, thank you so much for today. And this doesn't always turn out the way we think it should. And it's a beautiful thing, no matter what. It's a beautiful thing because we are sharing our lives with women that they can be inspired and encouraged and, and take their lives and run with it and be bold leaders in their lives. So uh, please, please share this, share this episode with everyone. Um, and if you'd like to be a guest, please connect with one of us. We're all out there on LinkedIn, everywhere on LinkedIn. Just connect with us um, and we will set up a date for you to be a guest on our podcast. And um, guys, please share this. Please comment, make comments, um, just liking it doesn't make the difference. The comments make big differences, okay? And we will be posting this on LinkedIn in all of our accounts. So please go look for us and make comments there also, okay? And subscribe to the channel so that we have more, more people's, more eyes seeing this, okay? Everyone, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm so thrilled to be back. When you are about communication, and you have no way of communicating, it's a scary thing. So thank you for my power and my internet. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.